that the promotion of Twitch streamers are over, where is Gigantic now? Where do we go from here? Can this game keep its player base? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. My name is Bazil, and this is Gigantic Talk. The player base is dropping. Why? What can be done? Well, there's a few things that can be done. We need to fix the lever and DC issues. Those are definitely big factors in retaining players, retaining new players. Obviously, matchmaking is an issue because of smurfing. And I think smurfing definitely is something that is hurting matchmaking. And currently, there's not a lot you can do about it because a lot of the higher rated MMR players are waiting 15, 20 minutes for games because their MMS, MMR is so high, the system isn't placing them in good matches. So it's usually just a stomp for them and it's boring. So you can't blame them for smurfing, but in doing so, they unbalance everyone else's matches and then it kind of becomes unfun. So I think matchmaking levers and the disconnects are definitely a big thing when it comes to player retention and why we see our player base dropping. Now, taking a look at Steam charts, obviously it only shows the Steam data, it doesn't show Arc, Windows 10, or Xbox One. I think one of the major issues that Gigantic suffers from right now is all of its competitors have uncapped FPS, have lower RAM requirement, and have monitor resolution support that really is inclusive in everyone's setup. Now, a lot of these things, I think, stem from the horrible, horrible Microsoft partnership. And I, I honestly and truly believe that that is what really crippled the game and kind of slowed it down to just almost just going under. And if you read the article with PC Gaming, it sounds like a lot of that really stands true because they basically had to recode the entire game from the ground up to work on Xbox and to work on the Windows 10 uh, store client. And let's be real, the Windows 10 store sucks complete bleepity bleep. So I can't imagine what it was like trying to code on that platform. Like that, that just honestly had to be just super stressful and just suck. So in my personal opinion, a lot of the features that we are hoping and awaiting for are definitely coming. But I think a lot of people have to understand that the partnership with Microsoft really crippled development. And the rest is kind of history, in all honesty. Um, I, I really feel that they had a great game, and they really should have focused on the basic improvements of what their core game was, rather than try and fiddle with game mechanics and all that stuff. Granted, they didn't have a choice because a lot of what they were changing was to get players into the game and allow them to help and help them understand the game because the current game that you play now is a lot different than what was played six months ago, a year ago, because it was a little bit more complex and they had to quote unquote dumb it down for the quote unquote casuals because they weren't getting enough player retention because players either felt it was too hard or just didn't understand the game. And that's still a problem now is like, obviously if you play any in any MMR bracket, you're like, what is this person doing? Why is he attacking my guardian? Or why is he attacking the enemy a guardian? Like it, it, the tutorial is very clear on what you're supposed to do, but players don't retain that information and they're still working towards that so i can understand why they did what they did but me personally i feel that they kind of shot themselves in the foot just a little bit because they did not focus on bringing normal things to a game that is released in this era and granted it's coming, which I have no problem waiting for, but does Perfect World have enough time to wait for that? Uh, are, 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 are the players going to wait for that? Uh, only time is going to tell. So now the question is, is what does the game need to survive? 
Well, we definitely need competitive resources, custom games, spectator mode, that kind of thing. Uh, thankfully, in the last Twig post, uh, which was the 11th of August 2017, if you're watching this in, you know, 15 years down the road for some reason, uh, they did announce custom games coming within a few weeks, which is great. I'm super, super excited for that. Hoping for spectator mode soon, but uh, let me put it this way. Getting a spectator mode to work in a completely custom coded game in the Unreal 3 engine is a pain in the rear. So I don't expect it for a while, but it would be cool to know what's kind of going on. But only Mochica knows that, so... I digress. Uh, RAM requirements obviously are hurting the lower end users. That needs to be fixed very quickly. Full screen monitor support and just a more universal acceptance of different resolutions need to be in there. I definitely like to see a lot more skins, way more than once or twice a month. And I also put up a community poll a couple days ago and um, the uh, oddly enough the number one answer right now at 202 votes out of 1124 votes is people want competitive tools custom games and spec mode and the next uh two answers are uh, lower the ram requirements and more maps more heroes fixed lever issues hero balancing ui improvements fps fps lock removal fix the dc issues and at six votes at 1%, people want more skins. <laughs> so, apparently, my, my opinion for more skins is is a little bit less uh, needed than, than I think. But I, I definitely agree with the number one answer being competitive tools. Because a game like Gigantic doesn't survive on single-player DLC. It doesn't survive on uh, more maps or skins or UI improvements. It survives on esports. It survives on custom games. It survives on allowing the community to really break into the competitive environment and really have fun with their their game. Form teams, who's better than who, and, and all that stuff. And we're, we're currently doing that. It's just really kind of janky and how we have to do things. So custom games obviously are going to really make the game uh, grow because I think it'll bring in the competitive side of players and bring in the competitive players. And then obviously spectator mode is going to be useful because then we won't have to stream someone streaming and then shoutcast over it, which is what we currently do. But at least custom games, we won't have to do like, okay, you're going to queue? One, two, three, four, queue. Okay, good. Did, did your queue pop? Yes. You can just all get in a custom game, click play, and bam, we have a game. So that's, that's very, very encouraging. And I think that that's what the game needs. Competitive tools, RAM requirement lowered, and full screen basically support for lower end users, higher end users. And uh, again, Motika, just be open and honest with the community. Continue to tell us what's going on. I love the weekly updates. I love that Sofetch and Amanda are always just like, hey, this is what's going on this week. This is what's, this is what's gonna happen. And I definitely like to see uh, more blog posts by Evan because those are usually really cool. And uh, bring back the developer blogs. I wanna see more of that stuff. So overall, guys, I, I'm not worried. Um, the game's been in development and been through development hell for the last four years. And I mean, I've, I've, most of us in the community have just kind of been like, okay, we're still going to do it. We're, we're good. We're just, we got through this hurdle. Let's just, let's climb this hill and we'll just go down the hill and just climb the next hill. So I, I, I think that we're going to be okay. Don't let the Steam numbers and Steam charts get you down because that only shows you one side of the triple-sided coin, if that's a thing, because there's three different platforms. But uh, I, I, I personally think that the game will do well once these things start to get implemented and once people understand that this game's been through hell and it's well worth waiting for cert certain features. So uh, I'm going to end it here, guys. What did you guys think of, uh, of my statements and just kind of of my opinion of everything after the game has been launched? I'd love to know what you guys think and strike up a conversation with you. You can do that by hitting me up on Twitter or 
any of the social media platforms or the community discord always love to talk to people there or on the comment section below if you enjoyed the video if this is something that you want to see more of hit the like button and if you're new to the channel please subscribe because then you'll know when i release stuff so yeah also uh missforge.org great great hero builder and just a uh, resource for the community for uh, uh high high-end guides and news and stuff like that as well so that's it that's all have a great afternoon morning and or evening and we'll see you guys next time